Before we start, uh, subscribe and click the notification bell. Humans have seven emotions, namely happiness, surprise, agitated, contempt, sadness, fear and surprise. What is emotion? Emotion is triggered by an antecedent event. The brain interprets the event. Then the body responds and shows variations of emotional expressions. What is emotion? Emotion is triggered by an antecedent event. The brain interprets the event. Then the body responds and shows variations of emotional expressions. Emotional experience as a process antecedent events can be events, contexts, or situations that trigger an emotion. Universality of antecedent events elicit same emotions across cultures. Activating event is any event that elicits clients immediate interpretation of event. We then evaluate our beliefs whether is is rational or irrational. This leads to cognitive, emotional and behavioral consequence. Cognitive appraisal your thoughts and beliefs can impact how you feel and how you behave. Emotional expressions according to cultural rules that dictate how emotions should be expressed when and where expression is appropriate there are instances where people overtly show evidence of certain emotions even if they do not feel it in order to disguise their true feelings. Physiological autonomic nervous system, central nervous system and the neurotransmitters and hormones commands the body to elicit the emotions. There are theories that explains emotions. James Lang theory The James Lang theory proposes that you will interpret your physical reactions and conclude that you are frightened, I am trembling. According to the James Lang theory, you then interpret your physical reactions to the stimulus as fear. Therefore, you feel frightened and rush to your car as quickly as you can. 2. The Cannon Bard theory of emotion states that stimulating events trigger feelings and physical reactions that occur at the same time. Cannon Bard proposes that both of these reactions originate simultaneously in the thalamus. 3. The Shakti Singer theory, also known as the two factor theory of emotion, states that two factors are needed to experience emotion. First, environmental stimuli elicits a physiological response. Second, we cognitively appraise this physiological activity and try to give it the correct label. Distorted beliefs oftentimes lead to depression. Example, when you always that you worthless or a failure, the consequences is you will become sad or even depressed. The lesson here is don't let your emotions control you. We have the capacity to control our emotions. That is, let us always check our thoughts and belief system. A subscribe, comment and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if we have new videos.